I'm in training camp. I don't need my haircut. I don't need my haircut. I just have a press from the day. I need my hat. That. I'll be wearing a hat. So, well, Jimmy and Brown in the gym and, and, and Liam Williams, they've been giving me stick anyway, saying you need your haircut, get your haircut. So, you're going to be world champion. Why you got hair like this? Who has the best hair? Josh Kelly. Bad male. That guy can do anything with his hair. He has it up in the very top on at the minute and he still looks good. Adam, I mean, he's Adam doesn't get I Adam doesn't have the best hair, like, you know what I mean? At all. So, I'm not going to say he's the worst haircut though, because who, who would? Uh, I'll say Jimmy and Brown. His hair, his hair line starts in the middle of his head, so. No, uh, probably him. <laughs> yeah. He, and the only reason I'm saying him, I'll be honest, is because he's given me stick about my hurt last few weeks, so. Well, you got to take it back. Mix is probably one of the hardest, hardest haircuts I actually do. Um, it's just, it's not built for him, it's a different type of race, this haircut. Chain one hair. Yeah, so um, Mix suits it a lot, bit longer on the side, so we're just really freshening it up without going too short, making him look a bit more presentable, really, less homeless. The biggest problem is he, that fringe is always down. I think that, your fringe is famous now, isn't it? Uh, it's it's the, like the fringe is just always it's down. Like it's like a like spider in your front of your forehead. And finding a happy medium where it's not just blown up. And but see, the thing is, I don't give a fuck what I look like, really. I don't need to no. impress anybody. It's not, I'm not there to have a perm or, or, or do any of that shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, I just like, have, I don't care if my hair is really long or if I have feature on my face, it doesn't bother me. It's still not fully in my eyes, but when it's fully in your eyes, that's when they got tend to get a cut. That is one of the cut, like one of the main points that when we're cutting it, we'll always make sure that it doesn't come down below the eyebrow. So he's always no obstructions, basically. When they asked me, "What do you think of Lee?" It was the first things that come to your head, you know, your slow feet, your good power, and his curly hair. Did it work? Is his hair natural? Or is it a perm? <laughs> Fucking that, that. Yo, it's not natural because I've seen pictures of him at their face and he has her, like, flat her. You know what I mean? The guy gets a perm, man. That's a perm. But, like, you ever watched Judy? What's that? Ever watched Judy? Yeah. Ever seen when he goes and he goes, hey man, is that a perm? And the guy goes, no, it's not a perm. Why is, uh, have you got a perm? No, no, <laughs> no. Who even gets those anymore? You know what I mean? Like, fuck me. If Lee watches it back and realizes half of the stuff he was saying didn't actually make sense, it's like, he probably went, why did I say that? Like, he says something like, if you still stop at the end of this well, friend, I'll knock you out. It's like, what, 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 what the fuck did that mean? Like, he didn't, he didn't make sense. But he said a few things. He's mentally not, he's, he's not strong in that set. And listen, you don't really need to be at times because fighting's fighting, it's not, it's not talking. But this is part of the game and part of the whole thing. So that's why I'm, I'm enjoying it. I, I love all this. This is, this is part of who I am. I can, I can talk shit naturally. I can be who I am. I don't need to script any shit. You'll get clients coming in here going, did you cut his hair? See the state of it? So it's, it's more my reputation I'm worried about than Mick. <laughs> I do it for my own sake. It's like, mate, you need to pay me a visit. But no, I understand he's busy in camp, so I try and keep on top of people and just be like, here, I think you're due to a haircut. My old barber who I had was a wee Italian barber. And he kind of stopped, I think. And I needed a new one. I was recommended to Paul. And I came down and seen him and cut my hair and I was like, oh, I like this. And then I've just stayed here since. Plus he sound like knowing, so <laughs> it's easy enough. Yeah, that was the first time last night seeing my kids in, in three weeks. And to, well, till I'll see them now till the weekend and that'll be the last time seeing them till after the fight. So it's We're been good. Are they excited to see you? Uh, unbelievably excited. They were waiting at the door and they, they thought I was coming in at seven o'clock. And I wasn't in the, the nine o'clock or something, whatever it was. Um, but they were starting with the door for ages. My son, my boy, they both really miss me, but my son, like he, he, like my daughter tries to hate it. Like she misses me and she tells you she misses me, but like when you come in, she'll be like, sure, like no, I'd, I'd want to give you a hug and 
like sits on her iPad and stuff. But my son, he can't hate it, and he just runs and hugs you and just keeps jumping up and hugging you. And that's class, like that is class. And then she comes round, and then I was been sitting, had them up in up, up in bed, and they were she was running about dancing the greatest showman and everything last night. So like it's brilliant, but it was hard hard at the same time because you know. They're asking me, when are you going away again? I says, I'll be here for three days. And they were like, no, why? It's not, that's not long enough. And you can tell they're already going to miss you, like, and then you're away for seven weeks, which will probably be one of the longest I've been away consistently. Like, my daughter, has, she hasn't been to any of the ones in the park, which is, uh, like, on the front door. Um, so the last few years since they've got older, my, she, Michael's been to one or two in New York when he was a baby. But Lucian was at most of them from she was two because she lived with me in, in LA. But her and Shauna came to every single fight, that's why. Now the last few years I haven't really brought them around the fights. I don't really want to Im implant that bug of boxing in their head. Um, they can watch it on the app and uh, I probably won't even be up, up at late, like, you know what I mean? So they should be in bed. I'll give them a Rocky shoot. No, to my kids at home, we should be sleeping right now. <laughs> Your daddy did it. <laughs> uh, so uh, that's 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 why I wouldn't have it in them. See, saying that, like my daughter has seen some fights. She's seen Manny Pacquiao, Jeff Horn. <laughs> Everybody's shooting. Come on, Manny, and she's hitting up. Uh, Shriek to her. My God, sixth day. Uh, four years ago.